everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brog. I'm your host. And we're at episode 71 now. And hello. It's been a few days. The first thing you might be noticing is that I have this little bit of a shiner here on my right eye. It's because I was drilling a hole over there in the top corner of the office here with... I'll show you the drill too. It's one of those really nice drills. It's, um, a, like a hammer drill. That thing? Anyway, so I was holding it and it kicked back and uh, twisted my thumb. And I'm glad that I can still use it because this is the same thumb that I've had stitches in. <clears throat> Regardless, I uh, sort of hit myself in the face and was just glad to be able to use my thumb. All that aside, <clears throat> if you can <coughs> get past the... I think what happened was it twisted and... I think I hit myself in my head like that. So, I just got back from my cousin uh, Seneca's wedding. Congratulations to Seneca and Amy, the latest family member and addition to our family. And I figured I'd give a little bit of a rundown here on my travels and uh, I just got back. And I figured I would tell everybody sort of what was going on. Uh, a lot, a lot happened. More, more than just a wedding. It was sort of like a family reunion, and I know it meant a lot to a lot of people that the family could get together because, as I've talked about before, uh, my family is sort of scattered over this continent. Uh, my mom is American, and my dad is Canadian. And <clears throat> so be because of that, I have family all over uh, the States and Canada and overseas as well. But backing up, uh, Seneca is this bad guy right here. Not a very, it's sort of a blurry photo. I'm gonna just not do zoom that out, but anyway. That's on his uh, his ship, and I have a photo here when I got the grand tour of the ship. You might have seen that on my website, adamjosh.com. I'm actually standing in that room there on the front of the ship, <coughs> and I joked. I. I eat fear for breakfast and drive the, a Navy battleship destroyer ship to uh, work. Anyway. Uh, they got married, Amy and Seneca got married uh, in a place called uh, Bolingbrook Golf and Country Club. You might think I'm sort of petty and weird, but while I was in the bathrooms wiping my face down, when I washed my face, I, I saw these. Bolingbroke Golf and, Go and Country Club. And, uh, you know, they're probably supposed to be disposable, but I figured if I could wash my face with it, it didn't fall apart, then might, I might want to hold on to that. Also, while I was in Chicago, I drove the, uh, or got on the Amtrak for the first time in my life. And I brought my mom with me. And uh, it's, well, I took the Metro, but anyway, there's a ticket from taking the Metro. I used a cab called Telecab in Wills County 24 hour taxi service. And uh, I stayed at the Holiday Inn while I was there and I, uh, in Chicago, or in Joliet at least. I also, while I was in Chicago, went to Millennium Park and got this uh, postcard. And I went to the bean thing that, it's like a, a tourist attraction. It's a chrome 
bean they call it it might have been called something else originally but i was told by the limo driver that now it's uh, just called the bean and at the wedding reception the last of my little items to show you i guess here they had uh they had uh, this on the table with my name on it uh, obviously you know my name but anyway it's there on the card amy and seneca so that's how i found my table i guess the story goes that Seneca's ship was, hold on one second, Seneca's ship was uh, docked in Hawaii at Pearl Harbor or wherever, probably Pearl Harbor. Uh, and uh, Amy was there on vacation and they met at a bar and she, the story I was told, sorry if this offends anybody, Amy Seneca. The story I was told was that she sort of ignored him at first at the bar, and uh, then he put on the uh, the charm, and here we are. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put that song on again because I really like it. Now, I got some photos that I took. Well, actually, the story goes that I forgot my camera, so uh, I'm relying on other people to send me photos. But we'll do little tour uh, of photos here for the viewers of the brog and I'll try to give a brief description while we go through them and here we go <clears throat> so this is my mom and me uh, that's actually, I look like I'm upset about something, but I'm not. It's just that's the way my face is stuck if I'm not trying to smile all the time. So, my mom and me uh, in the Bolingbroke Golf and Country Club reception area. Uh, that's my sister there and my mom. Uh, they haven't talked in a long time, so it was really cool to be able to organize that. There's Seneca getting all uh, emotional. Uh while Amy is walking down the aisle. Uh, this is a picture I took with the cell phone. Uh, I was waking up in the hotel. This is my grandfather, actually my only living grandparent now. So that, he's, he's the last of, a, of all my grandparents. And this is my mom's sister, my Aunt Julie. And they live in California. So like I said, it was sort of a family reunion. This is actually the inside of the limo. Maybe I can... It's the inside of the, the limo. It was like a 20, 22, uh, 23 passenger limo. And that's my mom and my sister sitting beside each other. This is a photo that I took with my Aunt Julie's camera of Seneca and his mom, my Aunt Julie, dancing uh, towards the end of the night. Well, the end of the reception at least. And this is Seneca and Amy uh, as they're saying their vows. This is Seneca, his brother, and uh, my papa and Amy's dad is right there. And that's pretty much all the photos that I really care to show on the, the blog. I have more, but you know, I don't know how personal we want to get here. Um, this is a photo of me and my brother, and as you may be able to tell, Seneca looks a lot like my brother. Not so much like me, but if I shaved, yeah, my beard. But he looks a lot like my brother. And I'll link to a link to well I've linked to a video in the past of my brother but most people know that my brother is autistic and doesn't really have many uh, uh, he's like low functioning autistic so I haven't I had a conversation with my brother uh, ever really and, uh, and it's all one-way talking and I, I'm down with that anyway so here is Here's a video that I took on the cell phone of uh, the limo when it pulled up. 
I thought that was interesting. Uh, it's a big white stretch, stretch collade, I called it. And this is uh, inside of it. I have another photo here. Another video. Oh, I actually, I actually took a video of here of their valves too. Here it is. Hi, Seneca Jones. From this day on, is an integral part of me. That's pretty cool. It was uh, a really good time. Um, so we could sort of get into the talking about the, the whole uh, event and now I guess. I've shown some pictures. Um, so yeah, my, my mom left the States, obviously, and uh, <coughs> got married to my dad. And uh, through raising my brother and all that, and uh, divorcing my dad and all that has hasn't been back to the states in a long time, and uh, so she that's her dad there of course, my papa and uh, they haven't seen each other in sad to say but a heck of a long time, and she hasn't seen her sister they talk but she hasn't seen them like face to face in a while and Seneca the guy who was getting married had never seen. My mom, his aunt, and not only that, but my sister and my mom haven't seen each other for a while. So my sister came uh, with her kids, who my mom has never seen. Uh, well, maybe once or twice. So it was a big sort of family reunion, and the whole time, one of the reasons I didn't really talk about it too much uh, on the blog or on my website or anywhere was because um, I was trying to keep it a surprise that my mom that I was bringing my mom, because most people uh, didn't know that. Who knew that I was bringing my mom? Uh, there was like two or three people that knew about that. So, and it was also a lot of fun for the for another re for another few reasons. Was that uh, uh, my mom actually is sort of like a homebody? Doesn't get out much. Doesn't have the internet. Doesn't have a working cell phone. And. Uh, so it was a treat for me to be able to bring her, first of all, out of the house, let alone out of the, out of the country and through three states. Uh, we took Amtrak, we took Greyhound, we took uh, two limos driving around, and uh, she had a lot of fun, and I think it's a lot for her to process. I felt like my job was done when I put my head down at night at the, on the hotel bed and I felt like, okay, my mom has seen her sister, she's seen her dad, she's about to meet her nephew that's getting married and my sister, who she hasn't seen in forever. And I felt like my job was done and the rest was just icing on the cake. I, I was so happy and privileged to, to be there and to, to support Seneca and Amy. And the, there was so much uh, going on and so much fun and different things happening. Um, on the way there and back, we basically had done a tour of the Great Lakes. I've been through, I've been to Chicago before, uh, and I've been to a lot of the northern states before, but I hadn't been to Ohio, I don't think. But anyway, on the way back, I went through Indiana. Ohio, Illinois, obviously New York State, and on the way there we went through Michigan. So it was a lot of fun to see uh, the different states and to spend some time in each one and uh, got to go for coffee. I don't know if you're following my tweets or not, but what I'll do is I'll collect all the tweets that I posted while I was away and I'll, I'll put them under the video on my website along with some photos 
Um, so in short, I mean, congratulations to Seneca and Amy, and I had a real fun time. It meant a lot to my family, uh, like my immediate family, and I know that it meant a lot to my papa. It was good to see them again. I hadn't seen him since I was in California last, and he had came up, come up to me uh, and thanked me a few times. Thank you so much for bringing Teresa. I don't know how you kept it a secret. You know, bringing my mom and he hadn't seen her and it was a lot of emo emotions were flying all over the place and um, as far as Seneca goes he's he's such just a cool guy um, super caring and uh, awesome awesome to meet him I love meeting his brother uh, Devin my other cousin and I, I wish I wish that we could all hang out every day you know but uh, with the uh, with them being at work <coughs> and uh, all the time and away and and me living in another country it's sort of uh, difficult so i had a lot of fun i can't say that enough and uh i want to wish seneca and amy all the best from my family and my friends and family to you and your new family seneca and amy the two of you and uh from the fans of the brog we wish you all uh, um the best all that life has to offer and she's uh, I, I guess he's actually moving her to uh, where he's living now <clears throat> so she's moving out of Chicago that's one thing I noticed while I was there was the Lackawanna accent the Lackawanna God we drive cars in Lackawanna we believe in God in Lackawanna and uh, I, mean, I guess it's all the same accent I don't know but uh, it sort of struck me as weird like the the overly weird New York State accent that mixed in with the over into Illinois, I guess. A lot of fun, and uh, uh, I'm thankful for being invited. I don't know what happened to the wedding invitation. So that's sort of what I've been planning for the last two months, and uh, it meant a lot to me to be able to get my mom up there, and I'm going to go see my mother, of course, on Sunday, this Sunday as I do every Sunday every Sunday and we'll probably talk about all that again mm. yeah so thanks for tuning in to the brog and uh, that's really all I want to say is that's what I've been up to and uh, it's good to be back uh, the place didn't fall apart while I was gone actually the funny, st funny story is uh, I left on Thursday night and uh, because nobody was able to cover me in the office here. We basically just closed this uh, this office, and uh, that was sort of funny. But uh, the place didn't fall apart, and everything's good, other than me smacking my face today with a drill. Uh, I'm installing um, I'm installing a new heater in the office here, as you as you probably seen. I have one over there, <coughs> and. Uh, we're going to try to do something different this year, save some money on the, on the heating bill. So I'm going to install a, a new heater. I'm just routing the gas line right now, and I'll finish the rest up probably tomorrow or something. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the Brog, and we'll see you next time. And the song I was listening to that I just had stuck in my head is uh, Kim Mitchell, All We Are. I recommend you give it a whirl. I'm going to try to get Rick's band Butterface to cover it, but... It's not sort of up and dancey, so we'll see. Thanks for tuning into the Brog, and take care of yourself. <laughs>